I am so glad that we can get together. You have talked or thought about building your own house for a while, and now you've heard about tiny houses and this weird new air creek thing that you can use to build a house for $38 per square foot. We are super busy this time of year, and I know that you are as well. I'm really glad that we could find the time to get together. So let's get this kicked off, and I'll show you how you can build your own air creek house. If you need fluids in or out, pause this video now and do so. You may want to silence your phone and close your social media for just a few minutes. You do not want to miss this potentially life-building information. I'm going to tell you how to build with AirCrete and a little bit about our products. And then I'm going to offer you a link to a survey where you can tell me a little bit more about yourself and also find out if you're a good fit for building an AirCrete home. If there's interest on both sides and if our circles overlap, I'm sure that we can find a way to do something together. Here's the big idea in 284 words. Everyone needs a place to live, and most people spend the best years of their life working to pay for a house loan. Four people willing to learn, who want to live a life on their own time, being debt-free and working when they choose. Building your own home or tiny house is the single most powerful way to escape the pain and make changes now. If you are ready for a life free, then you really only care about one thing. The ability to put a roof over your head that meets your needs as quickly and cheaply as possible without any specialty education, materials, or tools. You care about rapid change in your life. As it turns out, the ability to build your own home is the difference between working all of your productive years for a house loan or saving and building a house in under two years and then being free to do as you choose for the rest of your life. Tiny houses and aircrete are both a great solution to make this happen, but combine the two and look out. You can start your new life in as little as three weeks, something that has not been possible until now. Aircrete is Portland cement, which has been entrained with millions of microscopic bubbles. This inflates the volume of the cement by six times. The air bubbles inside of the cement act as insulation, allowing the structure to be built and not requiring any additional insulation to be purchased. It's fast, it's affordable construction. Aircrete cures over 30 days to form a wall with a compressive strength greater than the equivalent space supported by lumber on two-foot centers, which is found in conventional homes, and a similar tensile strength when reinforced with polyester reinforcing fabric. Hi, I'm Daniel. I've been in the construction industry for over 30 years. I have seen and built just about everything, both conventional and alternative. All right, let's do this. So in this presentation, I'm going to give you everything that you need to start building with Aircrete right now. Let's go. You need the following materials. Lumber, a sheet of plywood, metal dividers cut to fit your mold, a digital spill-proof scale that measures in grams, a one-quart measuring container from the paint department, screws, a 50-gallon drum, two pivots for the drum, a half-inch chuck, 8-amp or greater drill, a three-flat-blade spiral professional mixer that's 32 inches long, Portland cement, a foam machine, 7th generation soap or Drexel foam agent, latex or cement bonding agent, a cheap, never-hearted caulking, and a caulking gun, two five-gallon buckets, a cement trowel, soft polyester reinforcing fabric, water, and a power source for the tools. Make your mold for your bricks. Now you're going to have to decide the size of your bricks as well as the amount of aircrete that you want to use for each batch, and therefore you'll need to choose the size of your mold. But build a well-supported frame and attach the plywood to the top of this frame. Next, screw together a frame to hold the volume of aircrete that you've decided on. Six cubic feet, for example, will make four inch thick bricks with an area of 2,583 square inches or 42 by 61 and a half inches, for example. Apply a thin bead of cheap, always soft caulking around the bottom of the mold to prevent leaks. Attach the pivots to your metal drum just above the center line and build a frame with a footing to hold the barrel. Then attach the barrel to the frame. It's important to place it high enough as to allow the barrel to tip over and pour into the mold. Now, measure one gallon at a time into a bucket, 
marking the level with a permanent marker at each gallon until the bucket's full. Using the marked bucket, measure out and put six and one half gallons of water into the 50 gallon drum. Next, fill another bucket two thirds of the way full of water and add two cups of seventh generation dish soap or four ounces of Drexel foam agent. Then mix and fill the bucket to the top with water. Insert the foam machine intake line and prime the pump. Place your one quart measuring container onto the scale and tear or zero the scale and set it to measuring grams. Turn on the foam machine and fill the one quart container to the top. Scrape off the excess and place it on the scale. We want to see 95 grams. If the foam is heavier, then increase the air pressure. If the foam is lighter, then decrease the air pressure. A range of 90 to 100 grams per quart of foam is just right for building, but it's simply best to aim for the middle at 95 grams. A little lower or a little higher is fine. Next, start mixing the water and slowly pour the entire 92-pound bag of Portland cement into the drum. Mix thoroughly, making sure that no cement is clumped to the sides or the bottom. Turn on the foam machine and mix continuously until the barrel has filled to the 6 cubic foot mark which is about 27 inches from the bottom of a standard metal drum. Turn off the foam machine and mix thoroughly, raising the, the mixer up and down throughout the mix to get an even dispersal of the foam in the cement. Next, pour this mixture into the mold and insert your dividers and cover with plastic and let it sit for 24 hours. If you do not have dividers, then at 8 to 12 hours, use a, sh use a flat bladed metal tool to cut the bricks into the desired sizes. The next day, remove the bricks and stack them, wet them down, and cover them with plastic. It takes 30 days for the bricks to fully cure, but you can build with them just as soon as you can handle them without breaking, which is often only 24 hours, depending on temperature. Once you have enough bricks to start building, wet the foundation and the bricks again, and it's time to make the mortar. First, we're going to need to mix one cup of latex or cement bonding agent to one gallon of water, and we will call this the milk. Now, make the air creep mortar by adding one and a half quarts of milk to four quarts of cement. Mix and add foam until you have a five gallon bucket half full of mortar. Never use a standard mortar because its density is different than the aircrete brick and it will likely cause premature cracking of the building. Apply the mortar to the bottom and sides of the bricks. This mortar is thinner than standard mortar and do not try to thicken it. Add chips, pieces, or wedges of bricks between when required to keep a gap open when changing angles. Once it's set, it will be plenty strong. Using a level, stack the bricks as you would any standard brick. If building a dome, use a compass arm to keep the bricks at the correct distance and angle. Once the bricks are stacked, just scrape and carve out any imperfections and you're ready to put on the fabric layer. To put on the fabric layer, you're going to need a fabric cement. To make this, we're going to add one part milk and two parts cement. Mix thoroughly and apply this mixture to the surface of the air creep blocks and rub the fabric down into this cement. Apply more fabric cement as needed so that it's well bonded and not visible. You can paint this finish or you can apply acrylic stucco as a final finish. It is also noteworthy that you could cast the air creep into molds and form your house and then carve out patterns and stain them to look like almost anything. The best part is once the walls are finished, you're finished. You don't have to hang scratchy insulation and then sheetrock and finish the wall. It's a rapid and affordable building method. So there you have it. Everything you need to know to start building with aircrete. Now, of course, we can't show you everything you need to build a house in this short video. Houses require wiring, plumbing, cabinets, flooring, and much more. We encourage you to attend a workshop with us or someone else who can give you the hands-on experience that you need to gain a rapid start. Our workshops are the only workshops where you come first. You can choose both the date and the length of your workshop to attend so that you don't have to miss your vacation time. We are also the only workshop that teaches electric, solar electric, plumbing, wastewater management, and more, as well as the building of the actual structure. 
We give you the tools to calculate your design for your climate so that when you build your house, you know it will work in your climate, however hot or cold. Click the link or button below and fill out the survey to see if you qualify to attend one of our workshops and also to find out if AirCrete is a fit for you. We want to help people make rapid progress and change in their lives, and we don't work with just anyone. In addition to our workshops, we also offer an introduction to AirCrete video course, which you can get from our store, or you can get for free by referring just five of your friends who might also be interested in building their own homes. Click the link or button below in the description and sign up for our email list and you will instantly receive more information about building with AirCrete as well as the survey to determine if you are a good match for AirCrete and find out if you qualify to attend a workshop. This will help you decide if you are interested or if you need to move on with another building material. Do not miss this important step. Click the link or button below. When you sign up for our email list, you'll get not only the AirCrete compatibility survey, you'll get free updates and information on building methods, as well as invites to webinars on building and lifestyle design, articles on living free from the grind, and a chance to win a free copy of our Introduction to AirCrete video course by sharing with your friends. And... You will be entered to win one of four monthly free single-day training workshops at our location. So, click the link or button below and start making rapid forward movement in your life.